Beyond doubt, that is how Turkish authorities have described the evidence they have that Jamal Khashoggi was murdered by a Saudi hit squad. Sources close to the investigation have now disclosed that the Saudi journalist was wearing an Apple smartwatch, which he used to record as he entered the consulate. The watch can only record audio, but the voice notes were enough to establish what's happened to the renowned journalist. Khashoggi's watch was synced to his phone, which he had left with his fiancée, who waited for him outside. According to sources, these recordings testify to how Khashoggi was tortured and murdered by a kill team sent to assassinate him. This is a crime, and the reason it is a crime is that it is during enforced disappearances that torture happens and that killings can happen. So at a minimum, an enforced disappearance, and if, the, if, if, if it's true that he was assassinated inside the embassy, then they would also be responsible for extrajudicial executions. So the responsibility is clear for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is for them to reveal his fate and his whereabouts at this time. For days, Saudi Arabia has remained silent since its initial statements that Khashoggi had left the consulate shortly after he arrived and that the accusations of murder are baseless. Now, however, the kingdom has dispatched King Salman's top advisor, Prince Khalid Al Faisal, who met with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Friday to try and find a way out of this crisis. Jamal Khashoggi may not have known the nature of what awaited him before he entered those doors, never to be seen again. But he was astute enough to realize that he had to take some sort of precaution before entering the consulate. Those who planned this assassination may have thought that they accounted for everything. But in the end, it seems that Jamal Khashoggi managed to successfully defy those who tried to silence him, even after he was killed.